the Paris Pike Norwich Chase will close day one. Here at Kelso, it's two more six furlongs again, but it's for the novices this time. And it's not a handicap at the top. We've got Saint Fernando or Darren Thompson, world stage David Hooley, capably dangerous Martin Leedham, Primavera lover David Robertson, Talk Mayor Graham Clutterbuck, and Cleopatra or Leon Van Rinsburg. That one either falls or comes second. And they're off and racing. And the grey Talk Mayor is going to lead them into the first of the 14 that they've got to take in this. And leads by. Three lengths or so. I think now down to just a length. The Primavera Lover comes upon the outside. They take the second, which they all get over okay. Capably dangerous around the outside into third. And world stage, Cleopatra. And finally, Saint Hernando. So the grey talk mare in front. Leads by two to three lengths as they get to the third. Oh, that's all it was. Capably dangerous his turn to make a mistake. And that one has now dropped three or four lengths behind the rest of them. Oh, plenty of time to make up the ground. That's Talk Mare. The grey continues to lead. Over the fourth island, there's not plenty of time to make up the ground because Capably Dangerous has done a treble somersault at that one and has crashed out. Leaves with just five. Port Mary in the lead, St. Hernando second, Cleopatra third, then Primavera Lover and World Stage is just the back marker, but no more than four or five lengths off the leader. And that leader is Tort Mayor for Graham Clutterbuck, St. Hernando second, and Cleopatra third. Over this ditch they go, okay, with plenty of air. The leader Talk Mare leading by two and a half lengths or so to St. Hernando in second. World stage just showing third on the outside of Cleopatra and Primavera Lover. Wider still is the back marker as they got over that one. Graham Clutterbuck, Grey Talk Mare in the lead. They're coming up past the enclosures. Past the big screen totalisator board winning post. All the usual bits and pieces. The ambulance, which still was just a moment, was facing the wrong way. And race off now to the back part of the track and take this next one, which they're all safely over. Talk Mayor continuing to lead. Cleopatra has now moved through to second. World stage is third. And St. Hernando and Primavera, love you wouldn't rule any of them out yet. Oh, still going well within themselves, it seems. The jockey on the leader just had a quick look round, see where the rest of them were. Takes the eighth, which they all took nicely. Oh, May continuing to lead world stage. Jockey just keeping a grip on that one at the moment. Clear Patrick in third as they take the ninth. And St. Hernando is going to try and go up the inside. It looks like Primavera Lover is going to challenge around the outside. And they're coming down towards the final mile then. And over that one they go. And all clear Patra made a mistake. So too did St. Hernando. And the leader wasn't all that quick over it either. It just left world stage and Primavera Lover the chance to move a little closer to the lead. But Talk Mare is the leader. By two lengths to world stage in second. Primavera Lover is third. Cleopatra is in fourth. And St. Hernando is in fifth. As they take the 11th. And over that one they go. Talk Mare in the lead. From world stage in second. Cleopatra is now back into third. Primavera Lover just being pushed along the outside is fourth. So to St. Hernando at the back. But Talk Mare going well with himself. Cleopatra took another dive at that one. Can see why she falls so often jumping like that, but it's Talk Mare who continues to lead from World Stage in second, then Cleopatra is third, then St. Hernando and Primavera Lover, but it's Talk Mare who continues to show the way home, then four furlongs to go, clearing the lead by two lengths to Cleopatra in second, just two more fences to take. Primavera Lover now coming round the outside, World Stage just hits a bit of a flat spot as they come down towards the second last, then it's the final ditch, I think, and it's Talk Mare who's leading by. 
by four or five now then. Talkware comes into this second last. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Now he says go on world stage and see should he cruises into second. Then comes Cleopatra and Primavera Love of Saint Hernando. Looks beaten in fifth as they race down towards the final fence. And it's Talkware who's been in the lead all the way. World stage is now getting closer. These two are clear of Cleopatra in third. Over the final fence they go to mistake by world stage. And surely now given the race to the leader. Talkware's got a hang on. They're not going to catch her I don't think. World stage is having another last go. The jockey's hanging around on the leader and all of a sudden here comes World Stage on the outside and World Stage has got up to steal this one despite that mistake. Talkware back in second. Primavera another third then Saint Hernando and Cleopatra and for the second time I think today we're going to see a jockey getting himself into a spot of bother and Graham Clutterbuck will not be happy with his jockey on that one at all because World Stage made a mistake at the last which seemed to present the race really to talk man but the jockey just stopped had a little look round and got caught so World Stage takes it good day for David Hooley second was talk mare for Graham Clutterbuck third was Primavera Lover for David Robertson and fourth Cleopatra for Leon Van Rensburg with Saint Hernando fifth for Darren Thompson that's day one we're back with day Two tomorrow.